This 2003 Mercedes E500 is absolutely beautiful. It's Cubanite in color with black leather interior. And being an early 2003 model, it's got the five liter V8 with the five speed automatic transmission. It's done just 92,000 kilometers since it was brand new. And it's in incredible condition. And I am going to show you the logbook because I think it really needs to be seen to be appreciated. I have driven the car, it drives perfectly. It's done exactly 92,581 kilometres. The last service was done at 92,357, 86,000, 82,000, 77, 70, 64, 60. It's a car that's been very, very well looked after and Kalara Garage are a Mercedes-Benz specialist. So it's gone there for most of its life. Before that, it went to the main dealer. But you can't get much better than that in terms of a service record. It's been serviced so regularly. Unfortunately, the biggest problem with these old De Mercs, you know, from the 90s or from the early 2000s, is they're so reliable that people don't service them properly. They service it every 20,000 kilometres. Some cars, they push them, you know, 25 to 30,000 kilometers without servicing it and although the car still goes you find that your oil engine oil has gone black it's probably turned to sludge and you're going to cause yourself a whole lot of problems this is just simply not one of those cars it's got climate control air conditioning it's even got climate control in the back there but the condition of the car is very very good it's got near new Pirelli tyres front and back. In fact, they might actually have been done at the last service a few hundred kilometres ago. But the only thing it does have is just the back tail light has been cracked. Unfortunately, we've already ordered another one. I think someone, it hasn't been in a major accident or anything. Someone's just bumped it. And that's why it's broken the lens. But such a good colour. Two keys. It's got the optional fold down rear seats, which is great. And quite simply, if you are in the market for an E500 for around $20,000, I don't think you'll find a better car than this one in terms of colour, condition, kilometres, service history. You may see another one. It might even have less kilometres. All I can say is check out the service book. I have driven this car. I've driven, oh, I'd actually go so far as say dozens of E500s and it drives absolutely perfectly it's got navigation sunroof other than that rear tail light I can't see any marks, dents, scrapes, scratches on the paintwork whatsoever the headlights are nice and clear which suggests to me the car has been garaged And to be able to buy a car which cost around $150,000 new for $20,000 with under 100,000 kilometres is remarkable. It is an avant-garde as well. So it's got the beautiful five-spoke avant-garde alloy wheels. And it's got the darker timber. with the grey inserts around the gear shift. And what's so good about the E500 is you've got reliability. Now that it's come back so far in value, you've got good resale moving forward, depending on how many kilometres you do. Surprisingly, if you drive them sensibly, the fuel consumption's good. On the freeway, you'll get it down to seven, litres per 100 kilometres, 7 or 8 litres per 100 kilometres easily. Around town, it depends on how you drive it. It could be 12 or 13. Um, you know, if there's more traffic, it goes up to 14, 15. And if you're literally sitting in bumper to bumper traffic and you're, you know, revving it hard and all that sort of thing, obviously it will go up to 16 or 17. So it really does depend on how you drive it. But like I say to people sometimes, fuel... Fuel is a consideration, but 
the real expenses of running a car are not necessarily based on how much fuel it uses. It's the ongoing maintenance. It's how much this car costs to service and what problems it might have. I had a, I had a diesel a couple of months ago. It was very cheap on diesel, but then when it needed diesel injectors and a number of other things for several thousand dollars, the fuel consumption became less significant. In fact, it became totally insignificant. What was important is the fact that it needed several thousand dollars of work on the engine. And the good thing about the five litre petrol engine is it doesn't have any turbos or glow plugs. It's just a very simple engine, easy to service and maintain. Even if you live in the country, you don't have a Mercedes dealer or specialist, they could service it very easily. But it's one of those cars, I, I certainly can't stop looking at it. It looks absolutely beautiful. And it'd be great if all the second-hand Mercedes-Benz we got were in this condition with this sort of service history. And we do get very good cars, but some cars are just better than others, and this is one of those cars. If you have any specific questions about this vehicle, please give us a call. we are contact us on 02 9569 you can ask myself, my name's Philip, and for in-house finance you can speak to Richard. Thank you for watching.